got a brand new sound So get everybody talking Yeah Couldn't beat him, nothing could hold him down. Our God conquered the grave, so come on now, make it loud. Everybody shout it out, Jesus is alive right now. Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive right now. Whoa, sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive right now. Jesus is alive right now. Say, Jesus is alive right now. Jesus is alive right now. Shout it out. Jesus is alive right now. 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 Whoa! Sing it out, sing it out. Wednesday evening, KOTM. How's it going? Pastor Brett here again. Gosh, I feel really privileged. I'm getting to, to talk to you guys again and hope you guys are having an awesome uh, midweek so far and everything's going good. Um, we're going to be starting a new series. It's called Gifted. We're going to be talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It's really going to be awesome. Man, we all need to know that when Jesus went to heaven, he left us something, and it, it's the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives us certain gifts and helps us along the way. So I want to read you guys our power verse. And this is it right here. It's out of Acts 4.31, right? Say that with me, Acts 4.31. And it says this. It says, after this prayer, the meeting place shook. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Then they preached the word of God with boldness. My goodness. Only when the Holy Spirit comes upon us can we uh, speak and preach the word of God with boldness. Because the Holy Spirit empowers us and gives us that boldness to be able to talk to people about Jesus and be able to talk to people about God. So we need the Holy Spirit. So we're going to be talking more about this through the, through the month. Um, excuse, who, who was that? Hello? Hey, hello? Did you guys hear that? Oh, you dude. know, you know what? Hey, I, dude. I knew it. Every dude, time dude, I try to teach dude, you guys, dude, 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 this dude, guy comes dude, and interrupts dude, me. Dude, 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 what, what's up? dude, 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 dude. Settle down there. Well, I'm, I'm excited. You guys see this? Totally. What's up? I'm talking to them, not you. Oh, I almost hit your face. Man, every time I come out here, I, now you want to hit me. It's, I don't know. You're just a big target, dude. 
There we there go. We, uh, see, yeah, it's easier that way. Back of the head next I, I think time. when I'm looking at him, I'm distracted because he's just he's a big I'm guy. Because I'm mesmerizing. Right? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know about no, that. No, totally. uh, so hey, how hey. come every time I'm trying to teach these wait, guys, wait. you interrupt me? But I did this on purpose. What? I did it on purpose this time. What you did Most it of the on... time, it's on accident. Well, I don't. Okay. Okay, I'll but buy that. But it's on purpose so, this time. It's on purpose. Because I got All a right. question for you. Okay. And they might have an answer, too. Okay. You kids listening? Yeah. He, Stew, uh, Stewie's got a question. You want to hear it? I got a question. It? Okay. Let's, okay. Let's hear it. So here's my question. Okay. What is it? You remember last week when you told me I needed to pray about stuff? Last, oh, yeah. 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 When you were, you were hungry, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good now. Yeah. Had well, breakfast and everything. You look, you look pretty yeah, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm well, in good I mean, shape. For the most part. Thank okay. You. But anyhow. So, anyway. So what's okay. up? Here's my question. My question is... Is that when I was praying, I get to I get to a part and a time when I don't know what else to pray, but I know I need I know what the Bible tells us we need to pray like constantly, right? Yeah, we're supposed to pray all the time and just kind of murmur some prayers to God yeah. and let him know what's going on. And even when things are going good, God wants to hear from us, right? right. Not just in the bad times. Right. Well, because we need to we need to be prayed in advance for stuff that might it, be coming. Exactly. Prayed up and ready for, for anything. So that's so, part of my question. Yeah. So you run out of words to say. Yeah, and I, and I don't know what to pray anymore. Well, you know what? That's a really good question, and I'm glad you asked that. Kids, See? you know what? Good question. I'm glad Stewie's asking that. You know yeah. why? Because this is exactly what I came out and was just telling the kids. You were. We're starting a new series. A new series. It's called Gifted. Yes. Yeah, Gifted. gifted. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, it's, it's the gift of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, it's a gift. Right? Jesus, when he said he was going to go to heaven, right. he said he was going to send a helper, right. and that's the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. And you know what? What? It's really cool that you said that, too, because the Holy Spirit helps us when we don't know what to pray. Really? Yeah. It says it will give us the words to speak, utterance, and we'll be able to speak even if it's in a different language. So he, like, whispers in our ear or what? Kind of. He kind of tells us inside of our heart what to speak and what to pray to God. And actually, he intercedes for us oh, that's and cool. prays on our behalf. That's awesome. It's really cool, man. So, And you know what? What? I've got a video to no show. No way. Yeah. You right. want to see a video? Yeah. You got pop this, will, this will help you, too. You got popcorn. I, well, no, I don't have popcorn. Well, we haven't been able to go to the movies. I thought we could I know, maybe make a I deal out of I it. I didn't plan on popcorn, but you know what? I bet we could probably go find some. You, you kids want to watch a video? Yeah, we want to watch right. it. All right. We're going to watch this video. Check it out. It's on the Holy Spirit. And we'll let you guys know when we come back what's it, what so you're it's all about. You're going to watch it right here? Yeah, we're going to watch it right here. So okay. keep your eyes up here. Okay, so I want to turn our, and watch it right, yeah, right there. Yeah, right there. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, do you hear this? They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, 
Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Hey, kids, we're back. So what did you think of that? That was a pretty cool video. Dude, that, did did it, you see that? Yeah, that, that, it was pretty cool, man. Wasn't it? Did you see the way the Holy Spirit came in? It said like a rushing wind and fell upon all of them. Right. It was really cool. And then the apostles, did you see how they could start? They started doing things like Jesus well, did. Well, I, I've had experience like that before. Like what? The rushing wind and you feel like you have fire on your head. I ate like... I, 12 also burritos one time. <laughs> With all kinds of hot sauce, yeah. I imagine. Yeah, the Russian that's, that's not the And my head of, was like, yeah, oh, that, fire. Well, and then there's probably some other kind of wind afterwards, but I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about not that. Not that wind? No, no. We're talking about the Holy Spirit. Yeah, Did yeah. Did you see, though, once, once the Holy Spirit came upon all the apostles, yeah, on it their was head. really cool, kids, because then they started doing all kinds of stuff, all kinds of miracles. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. And that's what the Holy Spirit helps us do. It helps us to be able to have insight, discernment, understanding knowledge, all those things. And then hey, it intercedes in prayer for those us. Those are some of the gifts. Those are some of the gifts. I read yeah. about that. Why, why are you pointing? Well, I read that? about You're it, You're scaring man. me. I read it. <laughs> I keep thinking you're going to hit my nose so, or something. Oh, so, so anyhow. So you can, you can pray for people? You can pray for that, people. There were like six, sick people, not six people. There was, six there was people. probably more than six. <laughs> there were sick people, but yes. There were sick people? Yes, and they, they recovered from their yeah. sickness. And, and dead people. Yes, that rose from the dead. Yeah, and That's what I'm saying. It was and awesome. And people that had body parts falling off. Oh, man, yeah. It's, Wouldn't that be kind of gross? That's kind of You're weird. You're having man. lunch, and, yeah. and <laughs> Norm's ear falls off on the Actually, plate. what if you started eating it? I mean, that would be even weird. Oh, that. <laughs> It'd be like, wait a minute. That's not, my, that's no, not I, supposed I, to be on my plate. But, but anyhow. But they prayed for them. So. Yeah, man, they prayed for all these guys, and they recovered from their sicknesses. Well, that's cool. All kinds of people that had uh, limbs that didn't work and stuff, yeah. legs, arms. And Eyeballs. They, they recovered, yes. They couldn't hear. Got their, got their sight back, got their hearing back. That's nice. It yeah. was really cool. But in the church got like, exploded I heard right yeah then, right? because they were empowered with the Holy Spirit when we're empowered with the Holy Spirit yeah. kids man we can do things like I said in the beginning we'll be so bold for God and for God's kingdom here on earth and that's exactly what God wants us to do he wants us to go out with boldness and tell people and that's how the church grows that's how people get saved yeah and that's the ultimate miracle right yeah. there you know when when someone's life gets changed and they get saved by Jesus, yeah. then that's what it's all about. But you know what, dude? You know that, that, that I've been praying for Joey. Okay. Because Joey needs help. Joey needs help. He yeah. needs a lot of help. Yeah. But I usually, I usually chicken out before I ask him if I can pray for him. That's where the Holy Spirit comes in. When, you're, when you have the Holy Spirit living in you, uh -huh. it will give you that courage and that boldness. To be able to talk to Joey in a way, not only that will help him, but in a way that he'll understand. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit always gives you the right words. So I won't be chicken. No, no. Well, I hope you won't. So I can go up to Joey and say, be healed, heathen, in Jesus' name. It's easy. Well, not, not no, like probably not like that. You not know what Joey's going like to do? Ah! He's going to run from you. <laughs> So, yeah. No, don't scare him like that. No, not like so, that. No, but it'll give us, the Holy Spirit will give us the wisdom and uh -huh. the right words to the right speak ones. at the right time. 
I, I, don't, I, I need the right words. Well, I do too. We all do. Yeah. That's why Jesus said he's going to leave the Holy Spirit as our helper, our comforter, our counselor. Yeah. It's going to help us do all those things we need to do to help promote God's yeah, kingdom here on Most guys earth. out there, they need that too. Yes. And if all they have to do is ask. And, and once they receive Jesus, they get a, some of the Holy Spirit and then they get... They can have the Holy Spirit come into them and help them in every way. So once you pray and you ask Jesus into your life, you, you get you get imparted with the Holy Spirit. He's like, yes. hey, I got a gift for you, dude. It's automatic, Whoosh. right? You get the Holy Spirit. That's pretty cool. It's really cool. And then we be, we become empowered, and like I said, we get boldness to speak God's word. Wow. And to help people and to pray. When you said you didn't have the words to pray, yeah. the Holy Spirit will intercede. That means it'll come in on our behalf and pray for us. Whoa. That's pretty cool. That is cool. It is. And the Holy Spirit's going to speak the right words. So, like, so, I, I can kick back now and play video games, and the Holy Spirit will pray for me. No. No? No. Why? Not because you got to you got to be attentive to what's going on, and you got to be praying oh, to God. Oh, you got to pay attention? Yeah, you got to pay attention. Well, so, so if, I'm reading, if I'm reading the Bible, I can't just pray? Well, you can pray while you're reading, sure. If I'm watching a program, can I just pray like that? Too? Well, you can. You can, but it's kind of a distraction, maybe. Oh, you want, I You don't see. want to be distracted I while you're you. trying to get God to answer prayers. Can I eat nacho Doritos and pray? You might want to wait, but that sounds really good. Yeah. But you with, probably want to feed your spirit first. Yeah. And then feed your flesh. Yeah, with bean dip. <laughs> I don't know about Nacho bean dip, Doritos man. and bean dip. With those burritos you ate too? Uh, uh, no, yes. No, nah, that would be a pretty bad combination. Oh, man. so this so is anyhow, cool. Yeah, so we're going to be talking more about this throughout like the it. month. We're going to be talking more about the different gifts that right. the Holy Spirit gives us. Yes. And uh, just so it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, this would be really fun. So I hope that helped you, man. Hopefully yeah. that video helped you too. Yeah, so uh, you know what I can say now? What? I got the power. Oh, my word. Okay, hey. Guys, pray peace. for Stewie, okay? I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go get some praying in. All right. Because... Uh, I got a bag of Doritos back here. Oh, no. All right. I'll wait, though. Okay. Pray first. Pray first. See how it goes. Okay. All right, kids. So just remember that, that power verse is in Acts 431. Check it out. And remember, when we have the Holy Spirit in us, we'll be able to do whatever God wants us to do because the Holy Spirit empowers us, gives us courage and boldness to be able to speak God's word when we need to speak it. So you guys have an awesome Wednesday night. God bless you all, and we'll talk to you all on Sunday. Take care. Okay, guys, we always want to take an opportunity to pray with people. And just because I know this message impacted you in whatever way it did today, we know that... Uh, that Jesus needs to be Lord of your life to help you through any situations that you're going through, to, to lead you and guide you and give you the direction that you need in your lives as, as you grow and as you grow in him. And so I want, to pr I want to pray with you, and I just want you to repeat this prayer right where you're at, okay? And I want you to say it out loud because the Bible tells us this. It tells us in the book of Romans, in chapter 9 and 10, it says that if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth, so it's believing and it's speaking. It's believing and it's speaking. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to believe and I want you to speak. So let's bow our heads right where you're at and just speak this out loud with me. Say this, say, Father, I believe that Jesus is your son, that he died for my sins, that you raised him from the dead. I believe, Father, that he's in heaven with you now. And Jesus, I thank you for the price that you paid for me. Thank you so much, Jesus. Right now, I invite you into my life to be my Lord, to be my Savior, to lead me and guide me through every situation that my life encounters. I thank you that you'll never leave me alone, Jesus. And I love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So if you prayed that message and you meant it in your heart and, and you spoke it with your mouth, what I want you to do right where you're at is I just want you to raise your hand. It's not to acknowledge anything to me because obviously I can't see you. But you're acknowledging what you just said to God. You're acknowledging what you just asked Jesus to do. You're, you're acknowledging that by raising your hand. And so, man, I, 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 hope, I hope this message ministered to you. It helped you. 
It encouraged you because that's what we wanted to do with it. And so I want to thank you for joining us today. Hey, listen, if, uh, if you prayed to receive Jesus, please do me a, ref- uh, a favor and comment on, on this section and let us know that you prayed with us. Also, if you would, hey, if you have any comments about the message or hey, have any questions or, uh, you know, something you were thinking about because of the message, please comment on this and uh, give us some feedback because we'd like to know. That way we can follow up with some things if need be. It's always good being with you. We love you and we hope to see you soon. God bless you.